A friend of mine who I was relying on for something, who promised that she would do it, let me down. And when I confronted her about it, she told me that she didn't owe me an apology because she meant to follow through with it, but things just didn't work out. Huh? Why is it that some people have such a hard time apologizing? Is it more painful for others than it is for me? I mean, does it feel like pulling a nose hair or something? Cause that I'd understand, but for some reason when I do it, it doesn't really sting like that. Or is there a ration of apologies that some people have and they've just met their quota? Cause somehow I have an unlimited amount. So I mean, I'd be willing to lend you some of mine if that would help. Let's face it. There's just no good reason to not say sorry. Unless you're American, then there's no good reason to not say sorry. Look, if you promise a friend you'll do something and then you don't follow through with it, wouldn't it just make sense to apologize regardless of the reason? I mean, it was your responsibility, so I don't care if Bigfoot came and kidnapped you, you can still apologize and then follow it up with an explanation which is hopefully more believable than Bigfoot kidnapping you. Especially if the person is a friend and actually lets you know that they feel upset and they're kind of feeling betrayed and your reaction is to just tell them, well, get over it, it's not really your fault. That's treating the friendship like it's as important as your friendship with the bus driver on your way to work or school. You don't really owe the bus driver an apology if you don't show up for the bus one day because he wasn't really relying on you being there and he wasn't sending you multiple messages finding out where you were and if you were okay and you didn't just ignore those messages and then show up again the next day pretending like nothing happened. And if you did do all that, then you got a weird relationship with your bus driver. To me, it just seems incredibly immature to not be able to be the bigger person and just say something that will make your friend feel better and probably save your friendship. To instead deny all responsibility and any possible wrongdoing in the situation is just a mix of ignorance, selfishness, and being a poo poo head. Sorry, I promised myself I wouldn't use vulgar language in this video. See, I just apologized. Why can I do it so easily? Of course, we don't want just willy nilly stories all over the place. I mean, if you're always doing something wrong and you're always apologizing, eventually it's gonna hold very little weight. But especially if it's the first time you've been involved in something that hurt a friend, it just makes more sense to apologize to them, even if you don't feel totally responsible. When I used to work at a sandwich shop, the owner told me that if a lady with red hair returned a sandwich complaining that there was a hair in it, and the hair in the sandwich actually happened to be red, and nobody who worked in the sandwich shop had red hair, I was to apologize to the customer and offer her a refund or a replacement. That's how I'm supposed to treat a total stranger when I am obviously not at all in the wrong and yet my friend can't do that to me when she is clearly in the wrong? I mean, my friendship is worth that little to her? I don't even expect a refund with my apology. Although I take a free sandwich. Anyway, needless to say, this friendship is on the verge of being a non-friendship and apparently she told a mutual friend of ours that she was really upset that I confronted her about what happened and thought that she should apologize to me. Yeah, she's mad at me now because I wanted an apology. And she didn't tell it to me, she told it to a mutual friend. I just don't even know anymore. It hurts my brain to think about it. So to you, the viewer, I say apologize. When you do something or you're involved in something that upsets a friend, it's really easy to do. Just put your teeth together and make a hissing sound. Open your mouth and pretend you're at the dentist. Ah. Bring your teeth closer together again and make a growl. Then pull your cheeks apart and squeal. And hopefully what you'll end up getting is the word sorry if you do it quick enough and not quite so exaggerated. And if that tutorial didn't make any sense to you at all, then I apologize because that's what a good friend and YouTuber does. Thanks for watching my rant. If you agree or disagree or have some other opinion, leave it in the comment section below. You can also check out one of my two previous rants right over there. And I'm gonna take a little break so I can work on a song parody because it's been ages since I did one and they really take a lot of time and effort to do. So just make sure that you're subscribed to me so that you won't miss when the next video comes out. It's gonna be good, I promise, or your money back, because it's free to watch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Toodles!